Councilmember Sevier. Present. Councilmember Fox. Present. Councilmember Williams. Present. Mayor Durham. Three present. We have a quorum. The vice mayor will be handling the meeting. And, and started off handling it wrong, but yeah. well, that's what I was doing. all right. <laughs> We'll call the meeting order now and we'll start it with prayer. Jamie's going to lead us in prayer and God, if you will, he's going to lead. Let's bow our heads. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we come to you today in thanksgiving and praise. We ask you to watch over our city's business and our employees and the citizens of Lawrenceburg. Please keep us safe. Please keep safe the first responders of our city and all the men and women fighting around the world for our freedom's sake. And we ask you to keep our nation under your watchful eyes. We need your help more now than at any time in our lifetimes. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, the next thing we'll do is review the minutes from the last meeting. Does anybody have any questions or comments about them? Motion to approve. Second. The motion to approve in a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, there's none, so we'll move on with the minutes passed. And then I'll welcome everybody here this morning. Glad to have you. And with no, I don't think there's no announcements to make. So with that, I will make one. Early voting starts next week. Everybody go vote. And don't vote your conscience. Vote your faith one time. My opinion. I believe I can do that. I did. <laughs> so y'all. But anyway, I'll turn it over to Chris oh. now. Number ten. Okay. Uh, I want it to be Can noted that we. Yeah. I want it to be noted that we recognize and the LUS financials have been presented to us. And. I guess that's all I do for that. We have another day, okay. Now we'll turn it over to the department manager, please. Okay, to keep things brief this morning, uh, I don't have any announcements, and I also do not have a department manager report uh, for this meeting. So we, any business that comes up, we can discuss either at the uh, work session or we'll save for next uh, regular scheduled meeting. So with no new Bit our old business, we are going to the new business here. Chris is going to have a look. Okay, okay, and uh, our new business we have ordinance number 1182, an ordinance to amend ordinance number 1179 entitled Budget Appropriations of Revenue and Expenditures for the 2016 17 fiscal year for the City of Lawrenceburg, uh, Tennessee Codes Department. This is an uh, amendment to include funds in the amount of $300 for extrication training in Hickman County. Uh, to be including amounts in, uh, to, to fund uh, additional fuel costs associated with that meeting. Motion to approve. Second. This is here for second final reading. It's been approved. Any, any opposed? We have a motion and a second. Right. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carried. Next, ordinance number 1183, an ordinance to amend ordinance number 1179 entitled Budget Appropriations of Revenue and Expenditures for the 2016-17 fiscal year for the City of Lawrenceburg Fire Department. Uh, this is a Lawrenceburg Fire Department did not include funds in the amount of $2,000 for a TML safety grant. Uh, that's to place those uh, funds in the fire department. Motion to approve. I second it. Motion and a second. Any discussion? And I think that's for uh, some second. safety equipment or something. Okay. Anybody's 
discussion. All in favor? Aye. Uh, All opposed? None. So ordinance number 1183 is passed. Next is no, uh, ordinance number 1184, an ordinance to amend ordinance number 789 entitled the Zoning Ordinance of the City of Larksburg, Tennessee. Be ordained by the Board of Mayor and Council of the City of Larksburg, Tennessee Municipal Corporation under the laws of the State of Tennessee. Uh, this ordinance is to uh, recognize the positive recommendations of the Planning Commission uh, for property located on the west side of present Springer Road, on the south side of Maddox Town Road, and the east side of the former Springer Road right-of-way described on the attached Exhibit A is requested to be rezoned from R1 and C4 to C3. Motion. This is here for first reading. Motion to approve. I second it. All right, I've got a motion and a second. Any discussion on this? I'll ask one question. Which, I think I know which property this is, but it's, it's Walmart asking for this, isn't it? No, the city's asking for this. The city's asking for we, we failed to do it when we resigned. We missed a section. Okay. About 10 years ago, we missed a section. So <laughs> we're, we're correct in that. Right. It came up during a development project. Right. We found out it back spot wasn't even thrown right for commercial development, so. Okay. All right, any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This resolution carries. And I don't see any other business today unless somebody's got something. Mr. Just... Mayor, I've got a little something here. Uh, I'm going to bring up the, our performance series with Crockett Theater. It starts uh, the end of this month. I don't have the... Uh, 27. Okay. Uh, the lifeblood of this pro performance series is the season tickets. And I'd like to make a big push and ask the media to help us with this too. Uh, we, we're gradually getting a little more tickets so I'm not on the board or anything, but I, I think it's vitally important that this program succeed. Uh, Pam gave me a, a little stats here uh, about the previous years. Uh, last year we sold about 50 performance tickets. This year to this date, we've sold 71. So we're up. Uh, you get five shows and it's a hundred dollars per ticket which includes the christmas pops and i might even be up there singing five golden rings or something you know i might <laughs> do something so that'd be fun uh the shows are seven bridges jason coleman the nashville ballet rick taylor and the live roots ensemble and the fisk jump jubilee singers now, if we can get this program performance series uh, to grow, and I'd like to see us sell at least 100 tickets this year. And I challenge our uh, members here on the board and uh, those who can afford a ticket, uh, purchase one because if we can get our t uh, season ticket sales up, we, might, we, we will have more revenues to enhance our shows and be able to be successful and getting some acts in here that say some of our uh, younger citizens might like or something you know some of these shows are might be geared towards uh, old people like Fox hey uh, I've, already, I've already bought my tickets thank you <laughs> hey, you look a lot younger today too by the way well, I am. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to speak on that a little bit, and let's all try to push these uh, uh, Crockett Theater performance series as much as we can, because uh, Paul and Cherry Plant do a great job for the city of Lawrenceburg, and, and the uh, theater board does well down there. So I thank you for your time. I think that'd be important, too, and there's one show that I'll especially be watching. I've seen them on TV. Uh, never seen them live. But you always hear about them. That's that Fisk Jubilee. Absolutely. Yeah, I will be there this year since they're in town. 
for next year, really. <clears throat> but anyway, any other business? I have a few announcements, if I can. Sure. Um, along those lines, on the 28th of October is Aaron Tippin will be at Crockett Theater for, right. with the friends of the Crockett Friends of the NRA. So that's another event that we have in the Crockett Theater. Um, the 22nd of October, they're having a Got Drugs collection at WLX, the Sheriff's Department, and um, they're putting that out. I think that when they collected in the spring, they collected 100 pounds of pills. So they're doing it again this fall. All you have to do is run by and drop them off. It don't take two minutes. In the, it's in the back parking lot, I think, is where they're going to set up. And the third thing is November the 12th is our chili cook-off on the square this year. And for all the fire departments, Jay, you hear me? <laughs> for all the fire departments, volunteer fire departments, we've decided to do cornhole contest this year. So we're going to have um, four sets of cornhole bowls set up, and we're going to have a $100 grand prize for the winner of the cornhole contest. And if there's a good game on, we're going to stream it live on the side of Daryl Valentine's building so that everybody can watch football, play cornhole, and eat chili all at the same time. It starts at 5.30 on November the 12th. That's it. And I just want to clarify one thing. The televised thing will not be the cornhole game. It would be a football game. <laughs> yeah, the football game. I said if there's a good game, a good football game, kind of hoping the Tennessee Kentucky's later, but you know, we don't know what time it is yet. Else got anything? Oh, she's adjourned. Thank you. This meeting's adjourned. Thank y'all.